In the vast annals of Earth's prehistoric past, few creatures capture the imagination quite like the dinosaurs. While some, like Tyrannosaurus rex or Velociraptor, have become cultural icons, many other genera have faded into relative obscurity. One such lesser known but scientifically significant dinosaur is a Egyptosaurus, a genus of sauropod that roamed the North African landscapes approximately 95 million years ago, during the Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous period. Despite its relative anonymity in popular culture, a Egyptosaurus holds immense value for paleontologists seeking to understand continental ecosystems during the mid-Cretaceous and the evolutionary history of titanosaurs in Gondwana. The story of a Egyptosaurus is intricately linked to the broader historical, geological, and colonial context of paleontology in Africa. Discovered in the early 20th century by German paleontologist Ernst Stromer, the fossils of a Egyptosaurus were tragically destroyed during World War II, leaving researchers with only Stromer's notes, sketches, and limited casts. This story of discovery and loss reflects the fragility of scientific heritage amid human conflict and the challenges of reconstructing the deep past from fragmentary evidence. This video argues that a Egyptosaurus, though largely forgotten by the public, is a key figure in understanding late Cretaceous dinosaur faunas in Africa. Through an examination of its paleobiology, the historical context of its discovery, and its ecological significance, we can appreciate a Egyptosaurus as more than just a set of bones, it was a vital component of a dynamic, now vanished ecosystem. To understand a Egyptosaurus, we must first delve into its anatomical features and classification. As a member of the Titanosauria, a diverse clade of sauropod dinosaurs, a Egyptosaurus was a large, long-necked, herbivorous quadruped. Estimates based on Stromer's reconstructions and comparisons with better-known Titanosaurs suggest that a Egyptosaurus could have reached lengths of 15 to 20 meters although exact figures remain speculative due to the scarcity of fossil material. Notably, a Egyptosaurus exhibited the characteristic body plan of Titanosaurus, including a relatively light build for its size, column-like limbs, and a long tail likely used for balance and defense. Its vertebrae displayed signs of pneumaticity, air-filled spaces within the bones, which is a common feature in sauropods that likely helped reduce body weight. Such adaptations would have been particularly advantageous in the arid and semi-arid environments of late Cretaceous North Africa, where Egyptosaurus likely roamed expansive floodplains and woodlands in search of plant material. The dinosaur's teeth, though not preserved, were probably spatulate and adapted for stripping leaves from trees, suggesting a diet primarily consisting of ferns, cycads, and conifers, flora common in the Cretaceous period. The classification of a Egyptosaurus within Titanosauria places it among a group of sauropods that were especially successful during the Cretaceous in southern landmasses like South America, Africa, and India. Its closest relatives may have included Argentinosaurus and Paralititan, another African sauropod discovered in Egypt. The presence of such Titanosaurs in Africa supports theories of faunal interchange across Gondwana and underscores the continent's importance in the evolutionary history of sauropods. The tale of a Egyptosaurus is also a story of lost opportunity in science, emblematic of the destructive consequences of war on intellectual heritage. The fossils were unearthed by Ernst Stromer in the Baharia oasis of Egypt in the early 20th century. Stromer, a meticulous and forward-thinking paleontologist, made significant contributions to our understanding of African dinosaurs. His discoveries, including a Egyptosaurus, Spinosaurus, and Carcharodontosaurus, were housed in the Bavarian State Collection in Munich. Tragically, in 1944, Allied bombing during World War II destroyed the museum and much of Stromer's collection, including the only known remains of a Egyptosaurus. This event represents a profound loss not only to paleontology but to science as a whole, highlighting the vulnerability of physical specimens to political and military upheaval. While Stromer's notes and photographs have allowed partial reconstructions and informed subsequent discoveries, the destruction of the original fossils has left enduring gaps in our knowledge. This historical tragedy also reflects the broader issue of colonial science, in which specimens from the global south were often exported to European institutions. The absence of local infrastructure and the extractive nature of colonial science meant that valuable paleontological resources were removed from their countries of origin, limiting local research capacities and public access. 
The case of a Egyptosaurus thus prompts reflection on the ethical dimensions of scientific exploration and the importance of preserving and repatriating cultural and scientific heritage. A Egyptosaurus lived during a period of dynamic environmental and geological change. The Cenomanian stage of the late Cretaceous was marked by high global temperatures, fluctuating sea levels, and the continued breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana. These changes profoundly shaped the ecosystems of Africa, producing a complex mosaic of environments ranging from coastal deltas to inland forests and river systems. In such ecosystems, a Egyptosaurus would have played a key ecological role. As a large herbivore, it likely influenced plant community structures through browsing pressure and seed dispersal, as well as contributed to nutrient cycling through its waste. The presence of large predators like Carcharodontosaurus and Spinosaurus suggests a trophic web capable of supporting apex carnivores and large herbivores, indicating a rich and productive ecosystem. Moreover, a Egyptosaurus offers insights into faunal dispersal patterns during the Cretaceous. The similarities between African and South American sauropods support the idea of intermittent land connections or shared ecological conditions that facilitated parallel evolution. These biogeographic patterns are essential for reconstructing ancient continents and understanding how continental drift influenced the evolution of life on Earth. A Egyptosaurus, though not as well known as other dinosaurs, occupies a critical place in the narrative of paleontological science and Mesozoic biodiversity. Through its anatomy and classification, it contributes to our understanding of Titanosaur evolution in the ecosystems of late Cretaceous Africa. The story of its discovery and subsequent loss due to war underscores the fragility of scientific collections and the impact of human conflict on knowledge production. Lastly, its ecological significance and Gondwanan context provide important clues about prehistoric continental dynamics and the role sauropods played within their environments. Reaffirming the thesis, a Egyptosaurus is more than a lost fossil, it is a symbol of the scientific potential Africa holds and the need for responsible, inclusive, and preservation-focused paleontology. Its story challenges us to look beyond the familiar giants and uncover the hidden chapters of Earth's deep past. In doing so, we not only broaden our scientific horizons but also honor the legacy of those who first brought these ancient creatures to light. As we continue to discover new fossils and develop more sophisticated analytical techniques, the lessons of a Egyptosaurus remind us that every bone, no matter how fragmented or forgotten, has a story to tell, a story that, when pieced together with care and context, can reshape our understanding of life on Earth. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.